Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the game, you can see that they have added change log when you first log into the game. And you can see that they have completely changed the UI of the game. And heading into the game, you can see that there's this new area over here called Shadow Racers, which this must mean that it's going to come out in seven hours. I'm not sure why there's a timer. I guess we'll see because it's not going down yet. And now checking out the weekly challenges, we have a new car, the Nexus Extreme and the Toraku Extreme. And we have a brand new wrap called the Nebula. And with that, I'll show you the five parts in the USA map. For the very first part, head over to the dealership. I like to go down to this trailer delivery spot right here. And you want to jump up onto the Drive World Customs area. Now for the second part, head over to this race right here, Downtown Circuit. And turn around and you'll see the ramp. And at the end of the ramp, there's the part. And for the third part, head over to this race right here, Hill Climb. And you'll see the part on top of this tunnel. And for the next part, head over to this place right here, Mountain Town. And head down to the tunnels. And on the right side, you'll see the part. And for the last part in the USA map, head over to this race right here, River Jumps. And you'll see the part right under this bridge. And now with that, let's head over to Japan and collect the other five parts. Now for the very first part of the Japan map, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here. Or when you first spawn into the Japan map right here. Going down this little spot here, you'll find the very first part. For the second part, head over to this place right here, Speedway. And right behind this building, you'll see the second part. And for the third part, head over to this race right here, Kerotoge. And it is right next to this building on the ramp. And for the next part, head over to this place right here, Takashi Dirt Circuit. And you'll see the part right under this bridge over here. And the part is right here on the map. And for the last part in the Japan map, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here. And right in this tunnel, you'll see the very last part. And now with that, let's complete the rest of these challenges and check out the Nexus Extreme. And there we go, we have completed every weekly challenge, so let's collect them and check out this new car. And while we're here, this is the Nebula Wrap. And here are the customizations.
Once it's max, it has a score of 1,183 and a horsepower of 1,303. And it's able to get around 340 miles per hour. And now heading into the shop and looking at the new cars, we have one new car. And at stock, it has a score of 1,186 and a horsepower of 1,011. And now let's upgrade it and check out the customizations. And it doesn't seem to have many customizations. And at max, it has a score of 2,095 and a horsepower of 1,960. Which makes this car really similar to the Yesco in score. And overall, I believe this car is better than the Yesco in all of the races. Although for races like around the world, Yesco is still the best. And now with the Dragster, it kind of makes the Yesco not as useful as this car. And it's able to get around 370 miles per hour. It's really hard to keep this speed. And for the last thing, if you head into the shop and look at effects, you can see that they added a brand new one, Stardust. And they added a few more nitrous effects. Here's the first one, Stardust. Which it doesn't seem like it changes colors. We have Black Hole. Here is Stardust as the nitrous effect. The next one we have is Petals, which this might be my favorite nitrous effect now. And for the very last one, we have Wild Waves. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.